<laughs> Please like, share and subscribe our channel to learn and enjoy our free online educational videos from class nursery to 10. Please click the bell icon to get all new updated videos. Chapter 5 Senses in Animals an organ that an animal uses to gain information about its surroundings is known as a sense organ. Animals sense the environment around them by seeing, hearing, smelling, touching or tasting. Animals and insects use these sense organs to research their food and sense danger. Some animals have a strong sense of smell than humans and some have a very powerful vision. Let us learn about various senses in animals and how they use them for searching their food. Sense of vision. Birds do not have a strong sense of hearing and smelling, but they have powerful vision. The owl has a special layer at the back of its eyes which reflects light and help it to see in darkness, when most other birds and animals cannot see. That is why owls are able to catch their prey at night. This makes it a nocturnal animal. Most birds have binocular vision, like ours, which enables them to judge distances precisely. Hawks and owls have specially well-developed binocular vision and their eyes are towards the front of their head. They can spot their prey while flying high up in the sky. The white-tailed hawk has 10 times more powerful eyesight than that of humans. Cats, tigers and leopards also have special eyesight which helps them to see in the dark. Sharks can detect very dim lights underwater. Chameleons can move their eyes in two different directions, so they can see two sides at the same time. Humans have just one lens in each of their eyes, whereas insects can have many. Eyes like these are known as compound eyes and are good for detective movement. Bees also use sight to find flowers with nectar. Insect-eating birds also depend on their eyesight to find their prey. Grazing mammals such as horses and zebras remain watchful at all times because if they are not watchful, a predator would easily prey them. When grazing with their heads down, if these animals had forward-facing eyes like humans, they would have a large blind spot which could cost them their life. However, eyes that face sideways give them all-round view. The eyes of crocodiles are placed on top of their head to be able to search for their prey above water sense of hearing. Some animals have a very powerful sense of hearing. By hearing faint rustling sounds of a moving prey, they are able to catch them. Snakes do not have external ears. They are able to feel the vibration on the ground with the help of the ear bone in their head and thus locate the prey. Bats, whales and dolphins find their ways in complete darkness or murky water using a technique called echolocation. This involves emitting ultrasonic or very high-pitched chirps and interpreting the echo that the sound waves make after bouncing off objects and other creatures in their vicinity. Bats mostly hunt at night. They make certain sounds which human beings are not able to hear. These sounds strike the prey or any object and come back to the bats. Large ears. From the intensity of that echo, they locate the direction and distances of the food. Bats use the flap of their wings to close its own ears and prevent damage to them when they produce a high-pitched noise. Owls have a very good sense of hearing. They have very large ear holes and can pick up even faint sounds in the darkness. Some insects like cockroaches and spiders sense the sound with the help of hair on their legs. Grasshoppers have hair all over the body that detects the direction of its prey through air movements. Elephants too have a very strong sense of hearing. Also, they use their trunk and feet to pick up sound vibrations. Sense of smell. Most animals use this strong sense of smell to find food and also sniff danger other animals around them. Dogs have a very powerful sense of smell because of which they are used by police to catch thieves and locate explosives. Ants use the sense of smell to locate food. They have two hair-like structures called antennae on their head. With the help of the antenna, ants are able to smell food. Once an ant locates its food, it uses chemical scents called pheromones to tell other ants about the location of the food. Bears have a strong sense of smell. They also possess big noses and the inside surfaces of the nostrils are enlarged with folds. 
that make room for thousands of smell receptors. Two-thirds of a shark's brain is dedicated to smell, and it can detect the tiniest drop of blood from more than a mile away. Even uninjured fish are not safe from the shark's strong sense of smell. Snakes and lizards have sense organs in the roof of their mouth. They flick their tongues in and out to taste and smell the air around them. Snails also use their sense of smell to find their food. They use their antenna to recognize chemicals given off by plants. Sense of touch and feel. Animals have a wide variety of touch organs, including whiskers and antenna, which they use to navigate, find food, at times, and even to communicate. Cats use their whiskers to feel their surroundings. Seals use their whiskers to locate fish in water. Crocodiles and alligators can sense vibrations in water to know the presence of their prey. The deadly predators have tiny dots mainly around their jawline. These are receptors and they enable them to sound the presence, movement, and location of animals through vibration in the water. Catfish doesn't have scales and the smooth skin gives them a heightened sense of touch. In addition, tiny hair that run along the side of the catfish are very sensitive to vibrations. Butterflies and most other insects have fine hair on their wings to feel their surroundings. Sense of Taste Some animals have a well-developed sense of taste. For example, dolphins can taste their food, even though they cannot smell. Butterflies and bees have taste receptors on their feet. Earthworms have taste receptors over their entire body. They take in food through them while moving. Animals communicate. Animals do not use language in the same way as humans do. Animals communicate in a variety of ways. Apes communicate through symbols. Female glowworms communicate with males by making a series of flushes. Honeybees tell each other where to find food by playing in a special dance-like pattern. Some insects like ants communicate through the smell of chemicals. Dogs communicate through howls, growls, and barks. For every theme or message, they have a special distinct note. When a hyena prepares to go hunting, it makes a mad laughing sound that tells the other hyenas to follow. Animals also sleep. A human baby sleeps for about 16 hours in a day, while a human adult needs about 8 hours of sleep. Like human beings, animals also need rest, so they also sleep. Some animals sleep more than the human beings while sleep less. For example, a brown bear sleeps for about 20 hours a day, while grazing animals like cow, elephant, giraffe, etc. take only 2-4 to four hours of sleep every day. An adult tiger sleeps for about 16 hours a day, whereas dolphins sleep for about 10 hours. Many animals sleep throughout the cold winter months. Their sleep is called hibernation, for example, polar bear. Some sleep throughout the hot summer months. Their sleep is called Estivation, for example, the lizards. Animals sleep in different ways. For example, lepers sleep on branches of trees, while bats sleep hanging upside down from the branches. Horses sleep standing, while fish reduce their movement to get rest. Migratory birds have to travel long distances and have no time to sleep, so they sleep while flying. Time to relearn. An organ that an animal uses to gain information about its surroundings is known as a sense organ. Like humans, animals also have a sharp sense organ. Animals use their sense organs to catch prey and stay away from danger. Some animals have a good sense of smell, while some others have very sharp eyesight. Animals use their sense of touch and feel to pick up vibrations from the air, water, and the ground. Animals also communicate with each other. Some animals sleep throughout the winter and is called hibernation. Some animals sleep throughout the summer and is called estivation.